has been sent to the hospital by uh, ambulance because the helicopter cannot go in this condition. So, further update will follow. For the moment, we cannot say anything, okay? You know me, I will keep you updated as, as, as fast as I can, okay? Matteo, Matteo. So, uh, I don't think we caught the beginning of that. That was the FIA press delegate, Matteo Bonciani, saying that Bianchi is unconscious. Uh, it's the only thing he would say as to his immediate condition. Uh, he's unconscious and he has been tra transferred by road ambulance with a police escort uh, to the nearest hospital. The nearest big hospital facilities are in Nagoya, uh, but that is some 40 minutes drive to an hour. So he's gone to a, a nearby hospital. He's left the medical center uh, here. Obviously, with this weather, he could have got there quicker with the medical helicopter. But with this weather, of course, I don't think it ever got in uh, this morning, as we spoke about yesterday. Um, Adrian Sutil, I understand, has told the media that Bianchi, Bianchi's car did indeed hit the recovery vehicle uh, that was out there uh, to recover his Sauber. Uh, it's just what I'm hearing from the interviews that Sutil has already done. Of course, I don't need to remind anybody watching, or indeed you, Simon, of the history of Maria de Viotta, the Marussia test driver. Uh, I think you all know that story. So that's the latest uh, from down here. Uh, Bianchi is unconscious and is being transferred by road ambulance to hospital.